Hey there, and welcome back for your week four insights for the month of May. Now, this video is going to cover the period from May 20 to May 31, <clears throat> which I know is about 11 days. There's actually a one week period in this time span where there are no major astrological aspects happening. So that uh, will give me enough time to cover what is happening and then take us through to the end of the month. So this period starts off with a very active day on May 21st. So Tuesday, May 21st, we actually have three different things happening. The sun and Mercury enter Gemini. This is really good for Mercury, who's now returning to home territory. And certainly with the sun's light coming into Gemini as well, there's going to be a very curious, very social, very chatty, uh, very kind of intellectual vibe that we're now going to have for the next few weeks. We do get the sun in Gemini every year around May 21st for a four-week period, but we don't always have Mercury coming into Gemini at the same time. So it's a little bit lovely to have both of those planets shifting into Gemini. And it is going to create a little bit more of an expressive, talkative, conversational quality. It'll certainly help... Uh, get us thinking about ideas, but also doing a bit of research. And I think you want to pay attention to what you get curious about, especially because the third thing that is happening today is the sun conjunct Mercury. So shortly after they both enter the sign of Gemini, the sun and Mercury will be conjunct, which actually means that Mercury is moving into a condition or a planetary condition known as Kazemi. And that happens when a planet is within 17 minutes of the sun. It does happen throughout the year. Mercury moves into or out of Kazemi a few times a year, and occasionally we'll get Venus, Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn also moving into Kazemi. Kazemi was long thought to be one of the most powerful positions for a planet, so it really elevates Mercury. And given that Mercury is in this Kazemi condition, which is determined by a planet's relationship to the sun, while also being in one of his home sign, there is a real sense of insight, ideas, like the seed planting or the birth of fresh perspectives coming through. I do like this Sun-Mercury meetup in Gemini for the idea of mingling and meeting new people, but also for the idea of connecting with an idea that you can share with someone in your environment. So it's like having the idea and meeting someone else who's been thinking the same thing or is trying to work on a very similar project to you. So there is a bit of a meeting of the minds energy to Tuesday, 